Welcome to the lecture about the newcomer ICT tool. Using the newcomer ICT tool, the newcomer's ICT careers pass page is an online tool that provides various resources for internationally educated professionals, IEP. It includes information about ICTC IWES bridging program, as well as information about Canada's labor market and bridging resources to help with integration. Now let's take a look at this tool online in the ICTC website. So we are now in the website and the special tool for newcomers on the ICTC website. We can see here we have access to a talent from here, other online sources and tools. When you check here, you just basically post information, the latest news, events, success stories. And if we scroll a little down, we can see the companies that are participating in the program, like Sitco, City of Toronto, City of Mississauga, Accenture, etc. You can check and you can navigate American Express, Bank of Montreal, this are Bank of Canada, RBC, etc. And they're funded basically by the province of Ontario and the government of Canada. So when you check the news, you can have a link to the latest ICT Label Marker Outlook. And if I click here, it will take me to the page of the Label Market Outlook 2015 to 2019. This is a Outlook for the IT profession and the IT field in Canada. And the interesting thing about this uh, information is that you can check the tablet the table of contents for example if we click roadmap for the future we're gonna see the information of this report about the industry information based on research if you check background we want to take you the background of the research made in this paper again talking about the labor market talking about the framework you can check information by province if I click Ontario, it will give me information about the current landscape of Ontario, the main cities, how many I ICT professionals are employed in those cities, the demographic of those, of those uh, employees. And for example, here he said that the youth category, there's 20,630 employed in Ontario. Near retirement, you have 48,820. Interesting data because people that are almost retiring, there's that many, it should mean somebody has to cover those jobs. So those gonna be potential openings in the future. Women represent 94,060 workers. Immigrants, 166,410 in the ICT sector, the total in other sectors and it's just comparison of different areas so very good uh, information future outlook you want to check by by provinces you can have a very idea very good idea of what is the employment prospect of those cities or provinces that you're planning to settle in again very good information about the studies here is said the main uh, positions that are need to be filled uh, in the ICT uh, sector. For example, here in Ontario, you say that you're going to need 35,510 information system analysts and consultants. You're going to need 9,880 computer network operators and web technicians. And again, it, we have the amount of people going to be needed in the province of Ontario alone for these different occupations. So, interesting tool you can use. You can explore, you can choose the province that you of your liking, but also it's more important to focus on the provinces that you have the better prospect for employment because they're going to help you to get jobs and integrate faster to the Canadian economy as an uh, immigrant. So either way, uh, check this tool and I hope you can use it and uh, get a lot of information. Thank you very much and I uh, will see you in the next lecture.